Hello everyone. I hope you guys are all having a fabulous day today. Today I'm coming at you with the first part of my Chanel collection video. I decided to break them up into two. Otherwise it would be immensely long and I don't want to bore you guys. So this part is going to feature my handbags, my shoes, and my jewelry. Okay, so I'm going to start off with uh, earrings first, and the first pair I want to share with you guys is this pair right here. Uh, I'm going to try to bring them up as close as I can without washing out the camera too bad. These are actually matte soft gold hardware with black leather on the inside where the CC is. When I first saw these, I thought they were enamel, but to my surprise, they are actually just uh, their leather. They're quite oversized, and uh, they are a little bit on the heavy side, so I don't wear these too often, but let me just show you guys what that looks like like right there and they take up pretty much the whole bottom of my earlobe <laughs> so um you know these are the type that you only wear with um uh, with just this pair of earrings no no other earrings if you have two or three holes or anything like that but here they are so the double cc stud earrings uh with the matte soft gold hardware and the black leather Next, we have this pair right here, which is the smaller version of the double CC stud earrings with the silver hardware and the Strauss crystals throughout. I really like these. These you can wear with any other earrings that you have. So if you have two or three holes, these are perfect. Uh, but I just like, I like that they, they don't take up too much space. They're so cute. I think I picked these up in, uh, in Paris, if I'm not mistaken. See what I mean? I didn't want to show you guys with my, they're, they're tiny. They're tiny, but they're so cute with the little crystals throughout. And I haven't had any problems with any of the crystals falling out either. So that makes me very, very happy because I know that a lot of these stud earrings with the CCs uh, have that, that they have, that happens very often. So I'm happy to report that I have not had that issue. All right. The next pair that I have, oh, I love these. I love these. I also got these in Paris. These are from the 2015 Cruise Collection. These are in the Ruthenium Hardware. Um, with the Aurora Borealis stones or the studs. These are gorgeous. These are probably as large as the first ones that I showed you guys, but these are the type that you don't want to wear with anything else. You just want to wear these, no other uh, studs or no other earrings in your ears because they just stand, they stand out so beautifully. I love the crystals that they have in there and it's more like a, uh, it's not an emerald cut, but the cut that they do have, since it's not a round cut type of Strauss crystal, uh, it really um, amplifies the type of prism that they provide or that they that they showcase. Beautiful earrings. <gasps> Love these. <laughs> okay, next pair that we have are these cuties right here. These were a gift from my hubby. And if I bring them up close enough, you'll be able to see that they're not, it's not entirely Strauss crystal. There's probably, mm, I'd say anywhere between 10 to 12 crystals on each CC and these are in the aged uh, silver hardware and they just have a few details. It just looks, um, I forget exactly what it was that they said that this looked like, but I'm having a hard time remembering what it was exactly. My apologies, but there they are. Beautiful, beautiful little earrings. Okay. And the next pair that we have are these beauties which are also a little bit on the larger side these size these are the large matte gold matte soft gold uh strauss crystal uh cc earrings so they look similar to these but obviously you can tell they're a lot larger and uh the color is i believe they said it was a soft matte gold so it looks almost like it's silver but it is a very very light um like gold maybe if i turn it on its side you'll be able to see exactly what I'm talking about versus these. These have a little bit more of that silver tone versus these have the gold, but these are beautiful. These, uh, even though they're full of crystal or full of Strauss crystal, they don't tend to shine as much as say the ones with the Aurora Borealis, if I put them together, but there they are. If I bring them, bring them up as close as I can. Beauties compared to these. <laughs> I love these. <laughs> uh, okay. And the last piece of jewelry that I have is a brooch that I told you guys that one of my clients actually gifted me and it comes with a little dust bag. It comes with everything. It's so cute, beautiful. And you guys know me, the magpie that I am. Bam. Check that out. It's beautiful. It's full. It's a uh, silver tone and it's full of Strauss crystals. The entire 
thing and it's I mean I think it's a pretty good size it's not too big it's not too small but it definitely provides a lot a lot of um, of just sparkle look at that <laughs> gorgeous <laughs> okay so those are my those are my pieces of jewelry. All right, next we have uh, my sole pair of Chanel Sunnies, and here they are in the case. The case is a little bit dirty. I don't know what happened. Uh, at one point, I told you guys before, I had a few pairs of sunglasses, but I ended up getting rid of them uh, just because they didn't end up working out for my lifestyle, but I ended up keeping these because I love these. They have the CC logo, but it's more of a mirrored effect, uh, and uh, I really like that. So it's silver tone, and they're black. They're just classic black shades with a little bit of embellishment on the side, which you cannot go wrong with. They're kind of dirty right now, so it's kind of hard to show you guys exactly. Maybe if I did this, you'll be able to see a little bit better. The, the CC, the mirror, the mirrored effect that the CC has. So love those. And, they're, and the reason why I kept these is because out of all the Chanel Sunnies that I had, these don't end up hitting uh, the tops of my cheeks too much. So when I laugh, it doesn't look like, you know, the entire pair of sunglasses is going to fall off my face. So these actually complemented my, uh, my, the round face that I have the best. Okay, next I'm going to share my shoes with you guys. Uh, I used, you will notice that... <clears throat> If you guys have been watching me for a while, I used to have ballerina flats. I bought two pairs of ballerina flats, and I have since sold them uh, because they ended up hurting my feet a little too much. So now all I have are my espadrilles. So let's start off in no in no particular order. The first pair of espadrilles, which are these bad boys right here. These are from the 2016 Cruise Collection. If you saw my Chanel birthday haul, they were in there. And these are fabric with the white sequence and the black cap toe with the fabric as well. And... I think I've worn these once, if I'm not mistaken, since I've actually, I haven't worn them at all. I thought I did, but I'm very, very excited to use these for the summertime, especially because, I mean, it has the perfect type, it has the perfect colors. So I really, really like those. So the 2016 Chanel Espadrilles with the beige fabric and the white sequence with the black fabric cap toe. There we go. Next pair that we have are my all black lambskin espadrilles. Uh, I love these and I think these are so wonderful. As you can see, I've already kind of stretched them out a little bit so they fit perfectly. I don't have to mess with putting them in my feet. Uh, they just fit very, very comfortably. I've used these a lot, especially when we travel. Uh, they're just perfect. They don't hurt your feet at all. But here's a close-up of them. The all black lambskin Chanel espadrilles. All right, the next pair that we have are, oh yes, you saw them in my November favorites. <laughs> my 2016 Cruise Collection Chanel Espadrilles with the black patent leather and the black sequins throughout. I call these my Michael Jackson, um, may he rest in peace, my Michael Jackson shoes. These things are so, so sparkly. <laughs> they kind of match my top, not that I would put them together, <laughs> but these just stand alone. Big time statement piece. I love how sparkly they are. And, uh, you know, at first I thought I was going to have a little bit of issue with them rubbing together, but I haven't had any problems with them. I haven't had any of the sequins fall out. Uh, and now they are extremely comfortable because I broke them in and they are wonderful. They did take a little bit of time to be able to break in because it's not, uh, their, their fabric versus the lambskin. That's a little bit easier, but now they are wonderful. And I love these, love, love these espadrilles especially because they're shiny. You know me. You know me and my sparkles. <laughs> okay, and then the last pair of espadrilles that I have are my black and white lambskin um, espadrilles. I think I said that twice. The light is not going to let me show you guys what it looks like. There we go. They're a little bit dirty, so pardon that. But they have the black lambskin cap toe, and then they're just the white um, lambskin throughout with the CC. There we go. If I did that. They're just super dirty, so my apologies. And uh, I have actually used the white and black a lot more often than the all black lambskin. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe for, you know, throughout the summer, I really used these to death. And I wanted to 
I want to use them because I know once they get a little bit of a, of a smudge on there, I'm going to be devastated <laughs> and I haven't had an issue so far. So fingers crossed that nothing continues to happen to these, but there they are. It's really hard to focus in on them. I'm sorry, you guys, uh, the light is not allowing for that. Now we start with the small leather goods. Now the first one is this cutie right here, which is the oak card case in the black caviar leather with the gold hardware. Uh, and this one just has the snap button closure and one slip pocket here and then an open compartment there. And this one says made in Spain. I have used this piece to death. Uh, I just, I really like this, especially when I'm traveling, I have to go compact and this really allows me to do that. And I like the fact that I can put maybe, um, you know, one major credit card here, maybe some cash back there, but regardless, I think these are wonderful and it has definitely kept its shape throughout uh, the time that I've had it. And I highly recommend it. So the O card case in black caviar leather with gold hardware. Okay, and then the next one that I have is this cutie right here, which is the card holder in black caviar leather with gold hardware as well. I really like this one when I'm traveling also because of the multiple card slots that you have. Plus, even though it looks a little bit smaller, you can actually fit quite a bit of cash up here when you're traveling. So it's able, you're able to keep everything really, really uh, compact, which is awesome. So you don't want to take up too much space in your bag if you want to, uh, if you're, like I said before, if you're traveling, you want to add some goodies in there. Uh, so this is a perfect little card holder and this is actually quite generous so love this the card holder in black caviar leather with gold hardware all right next piece is oh yes this beautiful beautiful card holder it's the same thing as the one that i previously showed you but this has the silver hardware and this is in the classic chanel red same credit card slots same type of uh, opening. Very, very generous, even though, like I said before, it looks really small, but these are wonderful. There's a close-up shot of it. Hopefully it doesn't drown out the, it doesn't white out the camera too much. There it is. It is a true, true red. Love this. Okay. Next we have my Chanel small zipped wallet. You guys saw the unboxing on this. Uh, this features the pink. It's the 2015 pink cruise collection in caviar leather with silver hardware, but on the hardware, as you can see, uh, it has a little bit of pink in between the silver, the silver edges. And uh, I did use this quite a bit in the summertime and I really like it because it's a smaller wallet and since I don't carry too much, I'm able to just carry the, uh, the essentials with me. It has a total of four credit card slots, one zipper compartment, and then two open compartments here. And at, for me, like I said before, that's all I need. I don't need too much. And uh, I like the fact that it has a security with the zipper and I haven't had any issues with color transfer, even though it is a lighter color, uh, but it is still absolutely beautiful. So the small zipped wallet in pink caviar leather with silver hardware. Next wallet on chain that I have is this beauty right here, which is the black caviar leather with a gold hardware wallet on chain. And I just love this piece to death. I have used it so many times. It has paid for itself over and over. And, uh, you know, you guys might be thinking uh, if you're a little bit skeptical on the wallet on chain because of its size, it's too small. What really can you fit in there? It's a little bit narrow. Trust me, if it's quite a bit in here, when I do fit this in, I have to go with my top, my main essentials. And, uh, this will be kind of, I mean, to the, I mean, to, it'll be stuff to the brim and, uh, that's, that's okay because I'm comfortable enough to the point where I know that I'm not damaging the, the caviar leather in any way, but I'm comfortable also because I have all of the essentials that I absolutely need with me. And, uh, this is just beautiful. I like the fact that it has the card holders or the card slots already in the, the lining of the bag. It's just a beautiful piece. And some people use this only for, you know, date night or during the night, but honestly you can use this at any point in time of the day, but it, it just fits so much and so versatile. You can use it crossbody as a little uh, mini handbag. You can use it as a clutch. You can use it as a wallet. So it pays for itself. And I think this is probably one of the most versatile pieces that uh, Chanel has. 
Okay, and then another wallet on chain that I have is the newest one that you guys saw in my Chanel birthday haul last week or the week before. And this is in the red caviar leather with the silver hardware. I am so happy that I found this beautiful piece because I, I wanted a red. I wanted a true red and this is exactly what I got. Beautiful. There she is. Oh. <laughs> and it has the red textile lining. It still has the, the little credit card holders because I have not used it yet. Uh, I pulled it out, uh, but I didn't end up using it. <laughs> but there it is. The red caviar leather wallet on chain with silver hardware. And then the last wallet on chain that I have is another beauty that I picked up while we were in Venice. And that is the So Black wallet on chain with black lambskin chevron quilting and black hardware. I, or the gunmetal hardware. I love this bag. It is so beautiful. I like it for two different reasons. Uh, I like it because it is lambskin. It is different from anything else that I have in my collection. For the most part, I tend to have caviar leather because I like the fact that I'm, uh, you know, it's, I don't have to worry so much. So the, the, the fact that it's carefree, I like that about caviar, but the lambskin here is just buttery soft. It's so, so smooth, beautiful. And uh, another reason why I like it is because it has the chevron quilting. And for the most part, again, my collection consists of just quilted caviar leather. And this is very, very different. It's a beautiful piece and it's just gorgeous. And it's just all black, all black. It reminds me kind of of my Celine. So the Chanel wallet on chain in so black. So now we get to the good stuff. Uh, the first one I wanted to share with you guys is this beauty right here, which is the medium large classic double flap in black caviar leather with silver hardware. Uh, you know, when I first saw this bag way back when I wasn't too fond of it, I thought it would be way too small for what I needed in my lifestyle, but I was pleasantly surprised. Uh, it is quite deceiving because it is a smaller bag, but it fits so much in here. All of my essentials except for one fit in here. And it is probably one of the most comfortable bags that I have in my entire collection. And uh, I just love it. I love the combo that it has, the silver hardware with the black caviar leather, uh, unlike anything else I really have in my collection, because for the most part, I tend to stick with gold. Uh, so the silver pieces really do stand out in my collection. And here you go. It says Chanel, made in France. Beautiful bag. I have been using this actually, I mean, a ton, a ton this year or ever since I got it uh, as a gift. But here it is, the Chanel Medium Large Classic Double Flap with Black Caviar Leather and Silver Hardware. All right, the next one that I have, these are in no particular order again, this beauty right here, <laughs> which is my boy bag in the new medium with grained uh, calfskin leather, double stitching, and ruthenium hardware. It's so hard to remember <laughs> exactly what they have. Love this bag. This is by all means my number one most comfortable Chanel bag. Uh, I love the size that it is. Like I said before, it is the new medium. It is quite large. Sorry, it is currently stuffed with air paper. It has the burgundy textile lining and it's just one large compartment with a zippered compartment is what inside as well. And it's just perfect. It's a no fuss bag and it's just beautiful. I love I love the way that it smells, <laughs> but uh, I love the double stitching because it's a little bit different, uh, again, than anything else in my collection. There you go. There's the back view of it. And I haven't had any issues with this at all. I was always worried. I did a review on this, on how this would wear and would it end up, you know, damaging the corners of the boy bag. And as you can see, I have no issues whatsoever. It looks brand, brand new. Okay. So there is that one. The next one that we have, oh yes, is my Chanel GST in the beige uh, caviar leather with the silver hardware. And what I like about this one, uh, the beige Claire actually has the uh, beige uh, lining uh, interior, but this one actually has gray, which is a major, major plus for me. I wanted something a little bit more different, something that wouldn't uh, show too much uh, wear or too, mu too much, you know, if it gets really dirty, I don't want it to show anything like that. So this, the silver really helps out or the gray, I'm sorry. Uh, but here it is, it's a beautiful bag. I love this for summer. I use it to death in the summertime between this and my Louis Vuitton Neverfull. I can't get enough, but I love this bag. Beautiful. All right. The next one that we have is my black 
GST with the black caviar leather and the gold hardware. Uh, love this bag as well. I think this is probably one of the most functional pieces from Chanel uh, because it is a larger tote. It has a great price point. Uh, I still don't know if they're completely discontinued now, but uh, like I said, it has a great pi price point. And I like the fact that you have some type of organization. You have a zippered compartment in the middle. You have one excuse me, you have one uh, side pocket, you have one zippered compartment on the side, but it fits so much in here. All of my essentials fit and it doesn't get too, too heavy to the point that you want to take this off of your shoulder uh, or take it off the crook of your arm. I just think this is a wonderful, wonderful bag that's extremely comfortable and I think it would be a great addition to any collection. So the Chanel GST and the black caviar leather with the gold hardware. And finally, the last piece to the end of my Chanel collection is, last but not least, my beautiful Jumbo. My Jumbo classic double flap with black caviar leather and gold hardware. Love this bag. I started using it a lot more this year than when I first got it. I was terrified uh, because, I don't know, it was just, I was yeah, I was terrified of using a bag that was that much money. And, uh, once I started using it, I never looked back. It is a beautiful bag. Let me zoom it zoom in as much as I can so you guys can see the detail on it. Uh, and it's just a beautiful bag. It fits almost all of my essentials. It's very, very comfortable. I know a lot of people out there say that the jumbo is too heavy and things like that, but I have not found that it's extremely heavy. I honestly think that my Celine is the heaviest bag of my entire handbag collection. And this is nowhere near as heavy as my Celine is. Uh, but it is just beautiful. I love this bag. The size of it fits my body frame perfectly. And, uh, I just, it just, I, this is my Holy grail Chanel handbag. Uh, you know, and I never thought that I would have it in my collection, but here she is. Beautiful bag. There's the back. So the classic double flap Chanel jumbo with black caviar leather and gold hardware. All right, you guys. So that does it for the first part of my Chanel collection video, uh, handbags, shoes, and jewelry. Thank you guys so much for requesting this video. I know that I have had requests for a few months now and I just didn't have a chance to do it until now. And, uh, also, uh, like I told you guys in the beginning, I will be filming the same. I will be filming the video today, but you won't see it until tomorrow. The, uh, uh, the makeup, the fragrances, and the books that I have on Chanel will be up tomorrow. So thank you again so much for, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you all tomorrow. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day, you guys.